So by looking at series circuits, we revised some of the common circuit symbols, including the fact that an ammeter always has to go in series, never in parallel. Um, this one here was just a case of just drawing a circuit. It doesn't matter where you put the ammeter, it could be up here or up here or between these. In a series circuit, we have the same current everywhere, and that means we can put the ammeter anywhere to measure the current that's actually going through that resistor. I then drew the circuit diagram over here, and the current through the circuit is just going to be using this equation, I equals Q divided by T. So I've found the numbers from the question to give the current as 1.2 amps. And sometimes it's always useful to maybe draw this onto your diagram. So that's 1.2 amps, which is flowing around the circuit. Now we then use this value here of 1.2 in the next part over here. So what's the potential difference across the filament bulb? Well, we know the current going through it is 1.2. The resistance is 2 ohms, and therefore the current times the resistance is equal to the potential difference, which was 2.4 volts. And in a similar method across the resistor, we had a potential difference of 3.6 volts. And what's important here is that the potential difference of all of those cells is equal to the potential difference across those two components. So the potential difference across the battery is equal to the potential difference across the bulb plus the potential difference across the resistor. The other thing is that the total resistance of the circuit is equal to the, com the, the resistance of individual components added together. So 2 plus 3 gives a total resistance of 5 ohms. And just to check this, we can also say that the resistance of that circuit is equal to the potential difference divided by the current. There's a potential difference of 6 volts, the current is 1.2, and that also then shows that the total resistance is 5 ohms. So just two different ways of working out the same answer. For this one over here, I drew the circuit. Even though it didn't tell me to, it's still useful to put it in. And again, we're just adding up individual resistances to find the total resistance. We can then do that to find the total current flowing through the circuit. And also, we can do the same thing when we have a different resistor rather than the 3 ohm resistor. Now, basically what we find is as the resistance increases, the current decreases. And that's when you've got the same potential difference. And look, what I did here was I looked at the current, the new current compared to the old current, to find that it's three quarters of what it was. But if we look at the ratio of the resistances, we find that they are four thirds. So basically, as the resistance goes up, the current goes down by the same proportion. And those were just some introductory questions, looking at series circuits, some components, and then a few uh, calculations of these very simple circuits.